changes is our passion. A friend, encounter, a friend as a friend, encounters with him are very different to those of a servant. We're far more intimate. And I know this gets weird for some guys. And, oh, I'm not sure I can do the intimacy. You better get back to being intimate with Jesus. He wants intimacy with us. Not a woman thing. This is us, all of us who claim to be Christian. Christian Christians. Intimate, passion, very different to servants. Intimate, it's important. It's not just getting the job done, friends. When you're friends with him, you want to be with him, not just get the job done. Some of us are all about getting the job, and I'm not sure we are enjoying the journey. We're so focused on where we're supposed to be that we're not enjoying this intimate moment and this journey and this incredible walk with Jesus. I'm telling you, we'll walk through better seasons, any season, if we're connected as friends. But if we're all about getting the job done and results, we're going to de- despise the seasons we walk through. It's individualized. It's personal. Divine encounters become some of our greatest moments. We can't live for them, but we should have them. When last did you have a divine encounter? Well, I heard about this guy and I heard about... And it's not about what you've heard. Are you having those moments with him? Well, you're not going to if he's your if you're servant. But you will if you're friend. I mean, friends, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not trying to be weird. And I'm not trying to be that guy. But I'm telling you, things have to shift. There's a pivot shift here. Americans are such incredible, big capacity, big thinkers, driven people. We're driven, and I love that about this nation. We're driven. We, I love talking to Americans. Like when I go to other countries, and I lived in other countries, and you know, I love Australia and where I've come from, all that. but when you talk to them, they're like, oh, I'm not sure we can do that. Americans are like, heck yeah, we are the world. We can do whatever. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> and it's a bit arrogance, but I like that because at least you can go somewhere, right? And, but we're driven, and the church is driven. And we play the church game, and we drive people, and then they burn out and fall away. Another great testimony, another Christian, Christian burning out. Why is that? Because we're driven. We're all about getting on. We're not in this thing of literally having relationship with Jesus. I'm here to tell you, I've got a whole lot of preaching about nations and regions and doing more and vision. But this is what the Lord wants us to hear tonight. Your friends first. Otherwise you're done. You're going to not make it. I've had to learn this because I'm a doer. I'm, I'm not the Mary type. I'm the Martha. We've got a job to do. Let's get on. Get off the knees and let's get on with this. Mary, get up. And, I'm serious. And some of us are Marys and what are we going to do? Sit the yeah, they're both good and both bad. It's the moments. But we need to minister from that place of being at Jesus' feet. Divine encounters matter, friends. When last did you have that encounter? Not at a meeting with your time with Him. Like, I, 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 I'm under pressure with my job. My call is to preach wherever I go and teach, and I'm always preaching. It's my job. Like, I've got it. I love it. But it's a pressure to always come up with the next and the. But I've come to this place that I can come up with stuff that will bless people. But I'd rather just go and sit at the Father's feet. I mean that. And somehow He doesn't download something to me, but I'm still connected with Him. And ministry has life. I don't go out and say, Lord, you better show me. I need a revelation. He knows what I need. Well, how weird is it? I use this illustration. My dad lives in Australia. I can't wait to get back to go see him. But when I get to finally see him after this COVID nonsense, I'm going to go sit there. And I'm not going to sit at the table with my dad and say, have you got something you want to tell me, dad? I'm sorry? Well, what do you want to tell me? I'm here. I, like, I've made time to be here. What do you want to tell me? Like, What's wrong with you, son? You're an idiot. You've been... Why? Because I'm not here to... But at a table, just hanging out with my pops, having dinner. And you know what? If he has something to say, he'll say it. But not, hey, Dad, I'm here. I'm like, is there something I've set aside time to hear? That's my earthly father. But we do that to our heavenly father all the time. What you got for me today? What is it? How about just hang out? How about just go, you know, I've got some things I need to know on how to lead these people through this season right now. But, but here's the deal. Even if you don't tell me, I have the privilege of just connecting with you. Friends, I don't... These, some kinds, these are sometimes my friends here, yeah, but we don't go, okay, what have you got? Have you got a message? Well, we go hang out and we just have fun. And I'm not trying to below, bring Jesus' love. I'm just telling you, friendly, be friends. Watch the encounters change. They'll become natural for us. 
And we minister out of that place and watch the life and the effectiveness and the fruit that comes because we've connected to the life rather than we've got principles and downloads and nonsense. 